Hi Capricorn, welcome to your September 2017 Astro Update. It's Raina here. Wow, when I was going through this and, you know, writing out your transits, I was thinking, I really get a strong teaching vibe. So for those of you Capricorns who are in academia, I think this is your month and I'll tell you why. Okay, the month begins. Mercury is still retrograding. It's in Leo. What house is Leo for you? Leo is the eighth house. So it started retrograding Virgo, <laughs> Mercury in Virgo, which happens to be your ninth house, which happens to be the house of higher learning. And this can involve also with professors, not just, uh, you know, people who are teaching, not just there to learn. So this is the case I'm making here. So back in August, the 12th to be exact, Mercury went retrograde in that ninth house. For some of you who are in the teaching profession, you might have thought, oh, I thought I had this professor uh, situation nailed down, or I'm an ad adjunct and I thought I was going to be working here, whatever. You had to go and get that sorted out during August. And of course, August is the time when there is that tendency to go and get those jobs because uh, usually the s fall semester, of course, I'm talking Northern Hemisphere here, happens in September, right? So Mercury dipped back into Leo. That's the eighth house. And that tends to be more of the area of your spouse's money, other kind of like inheritance issues, you know, if there was any kind of dividends, money that you don't make by the sweat of your brow. So perhaps you had to kind of um, relook at that, like how, you know, can I temporarily rely on my spouse's finances in order to wait it out and get the position that I'm looking for. Perhaps there was even something spiritual involved because the eighth house can deal with metaphysics. And you might have thought to yourself, it's not so much philosophical because that's more of the ninth house. The eighth house is really about something that deals with like, why am I here? <laughs> and is is a very internalized kind of thing. So you may have kind of really been, I would call it soul searching. Okay. And digging deep within yourself, deciding what it is that you want to do. And Mercury goes direct on September 5th, in the eighth house, in this house of the occult and other people's money. A few days later, it goes back into that ninth house. Oh, and you know, one more thing I wanted to say is that the ninth house is also foreign travel. So that is one of the reasons why I was thinking about university level teaching. Because for some people, they may be teaching overseas even. And you may have been trying to get plans together and they fell through and yada, yada. So we have Virgo, we have Mercury and Virgo in your ninth house on the ninth, a lot of nines there. And at the very end of the month, Mercury goes into your 10th house of career in Libra, which by the way, Jupiter is in Libra all month long, the last full month of Jupiter transiting in the sign of Libra. And uh, so this is a time when you may see the culmination, some of the expansion. And you know, Jupiter does rule that ninth house. So there is that connection with foreign travel and any kind of philosophical uh, things that are going on with you. And this may even involve your career because you may be interested in yoga or teaching some kind of spiritual practices. 
Now, the very same day that Mercury goes direct on the fifth of the month, Mars is in your ninth house. It enters your ninth house. And this is you really being motivated to achieve something in this area. So it could be somebody who is has a sudden wanderlust, representing like foreign environments, like faraway travel. But it could be dealing with university matters. For some people, you could be students. All of this could be you uh, becoming very uh, motivated about your studies. But I do sense a connection with career because of the sun going into your 10th house in the sign of Libra on the 22nd of the month. And the same with Mercury going there a week later. So I do feel that, and, and then of course, in the month of October, it's going to be even more enhanced, that, that house of career, because the, the planets in Libra will support that. But again, you know, you have Jupiter in that career house for one more month, and you have Mercury and the sun going there at the end of the month. Your new moon is in that ninth house happening on September 20th. And interestingly, the day before this, Venus goes into that ninth house on the 19th. Now, here we have Venus, this planet of beauty, attraction, harmony, money, going into your ninth house. So all of those key words that we associate with the ninth house, Venus can harmonize them, but Venus can also bring money attached to them. So attached to university, attached to foreign travel. And so I put those two together. I think some of you may be traveling with your uh, teaching. And oh, hey, forgot to say this. Um, on the sixth of the month, the day after Mars goes into that ninth house, you have a full moon in Pisces, which happens to be the third house. The third house, one of the keywords of the third house is teaching. Now, the ninth house tends to be more of the university level. I would say the third house is more like if you were teaching, it would be more of the elementary school level. But here's the thing. I think that in general, the third house is any kind, any form of communication. So it can be any form of teaching and public speaking. So we can broaden it to mean that. And the full moon in that house could mean either an ending, but it could mean a culmination. So maybe you've been working hard trying to achieve a certain um, goal, and this is like getting the qualifications to be able to teach or getting that plum assignment. This is on the 6th. Now, remember, this is the day after Mercury turns direct. Mercury turns direct in the 8th house because it's dipped back into Leo. But initially, when it went retrograde, it was in that ninth house. So Mercury will regain its strength right around the time of that new moon in that same house where it retrograded. So I see a connection. I see that something that may have, you know, some communications that broke off or maybe a contract that you were hoping to sign that, you know, was elusive will now be made available to you. And even though it's a little bit late, it's better late than never. Or maybe travel plans that you had hoped to be able to undergo earlier um, in August, now in September, especially towards the end of September, are all systems go. So... Wow. And as I said, you have a lot to look forward to career-wise come October. And um, Jupiter will go into your 11th house of hopes and wishes at that time in the sign of Scorpio, specifically on 
October 11th. So Capricorn, this is wonderful because that can help you with your long range goals. And um, it's the luckiest house, so you should be eagerly awaiting that. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Oh, by the way, you could find love with uh, foreigners and people in foreign countries too, with Venus in the ninth house. Okay. Um, if you'd like a private reading, I have many types. I am promoting my natal chart interpretation. It's an hour long and it's on sale. And the information is below. Otherwise, have an awesome September. Bye.